What is up, everybody? We are back again with a new character reveal. This time it's your boy Yoshi. Only problem is yesterday was the influencer event and we got a peek at the move lists and a bunch of other matches prior to the trailer. That kind of took all the steam out of the, out of the sales, to be honest, right? Um, so we know exactly what to expect, what the nerfs are, what the buffs are, because there's a lot more buffs than there are nerfs. Um, and yeah, so it's like, there's a lot to digest. Um, I'm making a separate video kind of breaking down the move lists and trying to get an idea of what to expect once the game goes live. Because there's going to be a lot of changes. There's a lot of things to test because going through the frame data of the stuff on hit, um, there's a lot of new things that are going to be very positive as far as the matchups go for Yoshi. Um, but the thing though is like the, uh, the move list video from yesterday only shows the moves on hit. So we don't know what the, some of the counter hit properties are. We don't know if are on block, if they're safe or not. Um, so there's still a lot of questions that I need to ask, um, especially when the game's it's like it's still a month away. There's so many things that are going to be are going to be tested. So yeah, let's hop right into the video <clears throat> and see. Like overall, it's like you know what to expect: a sword sweep nerf but that's a across the board nerf you know pretty much all the characters lost all their counter hit blows that grant a full juggle now they just give it instant tornado so that's fine um the flash nerf only in one source stance and based off the frame data there's still probably going to be a lot of things that people are going to be complaining about because plus 14 is a lot for a high six frame move but stuff like that's changed for everybody so it's fine so let's see, let's hop into this and let's just say the stage and the fidelity on this new outfit is fire. Okay, so that's a new wall running three. Okay, so that's something new. We did not see the forward one plus two hit grounded. That's the new two, two, the new back one plus two. Okay, that's a new extension off the down forward one and the new extension off the three. Okay, so that looks like it's an actual combo. Because we weren't able to see the frame data on the Indian three plus four into Dragonfly on a hit. We were only seeing the normal one, the one that it, like ends with him standing. So many. Yo, he had a lot of time to even do that then. Hmm. Okay, so that's confirming what what we originally thought based off the frame data, and that's the heat smash. Four one plus two. Okay, so in heat, Dragonfly one is a launcher. Ooh, blue sparks on the just frame. Heat. And then this is the new fillers stuff that they give him that transitions into Dragonfly and out of Dragonfly. Oh, there was no blue spark on the Crouch Dash one. And then quite possibly the best rage art by far in the game. <laughs> Yoshi does a domain expansion and just kills you. So dope. So yeah. So I don't want to go super in depth just because I'm making the video breaking down the move list, but I will be throwing information of what we discovered here as the as a whole as far as like the Yoshi Discord goes. Um unfortunately a lot of the videos that got posted yesterday, like the match videos, I don't know if they weren't allowed to post them, maybe. I don't know. But a lot of the videos are gone. So, so there's like four or five Yoshi videos putting around that where before there was a lot of match videos i think there was like five or six match videos that they showed a little more granted the person playing wasn't anything amazing but we but they were they were getting put into certain situations where you can actually see what like what so, some of the properties are on hit and counter hit right so anyways so let me hop into resolve do my quick edits and i'll be right back all right so here we're seeing the new running three animation and you can opt to go into dragonfly on hit or block so this is going to open up a lot of combo opportunities probably like in kangaroo kick you know slash kick dragonfly into the new two four string maybe who knows but it opens up the possibilities and then here we also see the new one forward one plus two move that's replacing the old one but this one actually hits grounded and is a heat engager so far, there's no indication that the old Crowd Dash 1 is hitting grounded still, but 
So that that loop might be gone. So this might be replacing the crouch dash one loop at the wall. Okay, here we have the new up back one plus two move. On block, it forces crouch. Um, let's look at the slow mo to see exactly how plus it is. Maybe it doesn't look like it's plus. Um, Nina just doesn't really slow move to punish it, and Yoshi punishes with the new two two string which automatically goes into no sword stance on hit and block. And on hit, it's plus 15, which is a grip. So that probably makes the up back one plus two again be uninterruptible. Now, as you can see on hits, you see those little orbs. When the sword is glowing red, Yoshi life steals. And from what we saw in the matches, it's actual life that you regen, not just white life. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, and here we have the up forward three with the new down forward one, two, one extension, which tornadoes, and then the new ender that they, that they gave him, which is three, two, one plus two, which is a mid, mid, mid. So up forward three, I-15, down forward one, two, one, instant tornadoes, and then three, which is now a 15 frame move, and it's a mid now. And with that change, uh, it's act he has two different follow-ups after three. You can do three one that automatically goes into dragonfly, and then three two, which gives you a third hit option of that big gigantic slash at the end. So that, that honestly, those are really good additions because the down four, I mean the standing three, before it was was known as a tragic three for various reasons because it was pretty much useless, but now it, it finally has a use. So. Overall, a very welcome change. Okay, and here we have one of the bigger buffs that he got, which is he finally has a fast way out of Indian stance that can interrupt stuff. So, in the move list, if you do not go into Dragonfly, it's plus three, which is okay frames, nothing amazing. But in Dragonfly, it kind of looks like that might be an actual string that can connect. Let's see, hold on. Let's look at the slow-mo again, right? So, sits down, dragonfly. Man, I don't know. It looks like it's an actual combo. That's another thing we're going to have to test. And then the wall combo at the end was 2-2, two, two, Kincho, and then the new move out of Kincho, which is forward one, which is the multiple hitting move. But... If you do it against a standing person, it's minus three, I believe, on hit. But it looks like it hits grounded and it does that cool little effect at the wall. And this move at a dragonfly stance is forward one plus two, which is super cool. It's so sick. <laughs> Multi hits for days. And here we have one of the cooler intros so far. Yoshi just laughs at the at the bullets. So cool. <laughs> Stupid lore stuff. Just so cool to watch sometimes. All right, and here's one of the nerfs that we were expecting to happen just because everyone else lost their hell sweep full juggle potential, right? So Yoshi was not going to be immune to it. What is in the interest interesting is that he has enough time to go into no sword stance. That's what that little crouching animation at the start is right there. And then he has enough time to heat burst afterwards. So that's kind of interesting. And then here, no sword stance shoulder is still there. And then he does three, two, one plus two. And there he heals again because well, he's in heat, All right? Is he in heat? Yeah, he's in heat because he went into heat burst. All right, so then he goes into heat. So that means any red sword attack is going to leech life. So then three, two, one plus two. And then boop, he heals. From what we saw in the matches, every time he heals, it's like about five to ten health. So it, it's just, it, it's nothing amazing, but it I'm pretty sure it'll add up to a nice amount. And it's actual life. It's not just white life from what we saw. And here is the other nerf. Um, Flash is now plus 14 when it hits. It does that knee stun animation. 
and it gets Yoshi a free he engaged it with back to two. Um, the thing though is like if this works at the wall, he might get better options instead of just that because look how close they are after the flash connects. He might be able to do a quick windmill and the person might not be able to avoid it. Um, he might be able to actually just also like down forward one four would also work. Um, but against larger characters like Jack at the wall, he might be able to like do pseudo flash combos at the wall until he gets enough pushback to get not to get away from the wall. So Jack might be having issues at the wall against Yoshi now. But who knows, like we have to test this. There's too many questions, too many variables around, right? Because I was yet to see how it works um, at the wall yesterday. All right, so flash, that's plus 14, back to two, heat engager. Yoshi runs in and just heat smashes, which is a really cool heat smash. Sadly, Yoshi does not have a secondary heat smash. That's like a low or something, but hey, he heals afterwards. So it's all good, right? Hey, he smash looks so cool though. It just tornadoes and hits you a couple times. All right, here Yoshi with punishes with a new forward one plus two, that which in heat is heat dashable because it's a heat engager. Um, and then well, what did he use here as a tornado? Oh no, he did the dragonfly one, which in heat launches, which is extremely interesting because we couldn't tell in the move list yesterday. So here he goes, poison wind, cancel on the dragonfly one. Life steals because it's a sword attack. Back to one, Kincho, back to one, which tornadoes into the forward forward two just frame, which has blue sparkles. I wish that healed up more also, but hey. That four one plus two is really nice change. The only thing though is from what we saw is um it was easily steppable to Yoshi's left again. So that side it's still weak. I was hopeful he was gonna have something that covers that direction, but we'll see what the other moves uh track. Okay, and here we have Dragonfly 4, which is a heat engager, so he was able to heat dash afterwards. And then all these new moves are new fillers that they, that they gave him that transition in and out of Dragonfly, which is honestly very cool. <laughs> it, like, it, it was kind of sort of needed, you know? So it's like 3-1 automatically goes into Dragonfly, 2-4 gets him out of Dragonfly, <laughs> then he goes two, no, down 2-2-2, two, 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 which is the new another new option after down 2-2. Two, two. So Dragonfly 4, 3-1. Then 2-4, if you just do it normally, it gets him out of Dragonfly. But from what I saw, he can stay in Dragonfly. I think if he holds it back, he stays in Dragonfly. So we'll see how that allows him to maybe chain 2-4s a couple times, maybe. Who knows? Uh, I want this game in my hands already so I can play. Test all these things out, finally. And then here he does crouch dash one. No blue spark, unfortunately. I was hoping he would get a blue, star, blue spark version. Um, within the move list, uh, he, he there's a shortcut for that move. So down forward one plus four does the crouch dash one, but it's much slower. It, it was saying that it was 20 frames. So if you do the normal input, like the actual forward, neutral, down forward, forward, um, you will get the normal one, which is the 17 frame one. And the same thing applies for the crouch dash two. So if you do the shortcut version, which is down forward two plus three, I think it was, it's 17 frames instead of 14. So if you do the normal one, it's a 14 frame move like how it normally is. Um, and then from what we saw on counter hit, crouch dash two is exactly the same. It'll instant tornado, right? Um, we didn't see anybody <laughs> do the standing crouch dash one, the normal one. Um, so, well, aside from this part here in the video, which... It just shows that it launches. We don't know um, how it behaves when the person's already in the air. We don't know. So combo routes could be just like in Tekken 7. You know, down forward two, crouch dash one, 
back to one, Kincho back, Kincho back to one, and then that will tornado, and then you do your ender. Or maybe you actually just go with the new combo routes, right? You do down four, two, crouch dash one, three, one, go into, into dragonfly, do two, four, that will tornado, and then you do your ender afterwards. Maybe that does more damage. Who knows? Um, maybe I can work out the math without actually playing the game just by doing the whole damage scaling and all that stuff. But yeah, overall, um, the nerfs aren't as big as the general consensus are, are, are saying. Um, I Like, yes, when he's in normal default stance, Flash is plus 14. Okay, fine. That's, that's pr going to prove, yeah, it's like Yoshi can no longer, like, fully punish Fangs, you know, down forward 2-2 two, two or whatever, right? The thing, though, is that we've only seen what it does facing forward. We don't know how it's going to behave off-axis. Um, we did see an indication that the no sword stance version blasts the person away. Um, but the no, the no sword stance version and the heat versions are different than the, than the normal default version. Like the normal flash, plus 14. The no sword stance version is a stun how it normally is right now. The heat version of both the one sword stance and flash and the no sword stance flash all launch, but they're slower, right? So the normal one sword stance flash, six frames, how it is right now in Tekken 7. No sword stance flash, eight frames, exactly how it is right now in Tekken, in Tekken 7. The heat flash, if you're in normal default stance, is not six frames, it's eight frames. So when you're in heat, you're not going to be able to punish fangs down forward two two, so you're gonna to have to be like, be very wary of like things that you can and can punish now. Um, so you just can't mindlessly flash when you're in heat because you have to take into account those two extra frames. Um, but even then, for example, it's like the other stuff I've been thinking about is like off axis flash. How does it behave? If it still gives you the plus fourteen, a side flash can probably give you a launcher because they're going to be holding back, right? And depending on which side you're on of the, of the person, when they hold back, they're going to be turning around. So you might be able just to get a straight up standing launch. You know, so either way, like this is all lab stuff that it's just kind of like been bouncing around in my head since the Moveless video came out yesterday. Um, and other things that we saw were like... Um, there was one moment where somebody did, I think it was against a Steve player. Something happened. Like, I think the Steve went for down forward two into the new backstep thing. And the Yoshi did the, the new up back one plus two, the big gigantic swipe. And they switched positions. So, like, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some really weird stuff like that happening. Um, oh, there was another one. Counter hit four, four, three. Didn't stun in one of the videos that I saw. So maybe the counter hit four four three Kincho one plus two stuff is gone. Um, hopefully not, but chances are it might be because a lot of those weird counter hits are just gone. But on that move, it's very weird that they would do something like that. Anyways, I'll save all that stuff for the move list video. Overall, Yoshi looks extremely fun. I am very excited to get my hands on the game and actually lab him and play him. Because those combo routes look ridiculous. So if you take those combo routes and then apply those moves as wall Okuzemi, what happens? You know, it's like, do you cross over? Do you put create crazy situations? Who knows? Um, and yeah, so guys, um, be on the lookout for the move list video soon. Hopefully, maybe Friday if I have time these next couple days to edit it. Um, so like always guys if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like and i appreciate your time like always take care catch you next time peace